What's good sports gamers? I got some NHL tips for y'all today. Playing NHL can be the most exciting and fast paced sport there is. The quick thinking and on the fly nature of the sport lends itself well to video games. But being able to compete on the virtual ice at a consistent pace and high level requires certain traits you must hone in order to be successful on a consistent basis. And today I'm going to help you out by going over the three things I feel you need to be able to do to take your game to the next level. Let's begin. Third on the list is being able to anticipate your opponent's next move while you're on offense. You always want to be one step ahead of your opponent. You don't want to be the guy who sees his opponent move one way and then that's when you decide what to do. Oftentimes it will be too late to adjust and you're already laying on the ice. Being able to anticipate where your opponent is going to go before he does it and counter it a lot of the times will get you free for eye man rushes and free shots at the goalie. You can accomplish this by using your deep moves to get him to attack a puck that ain't there anymore or getting away from incoming trouble be from an aggressive defender or them switching to the next player on defense to pick you up. This is one of the hardest things to get the hang of when you're first starting out but the more you play you'll be able to get a sixth sense kind of to what's about to happen next. The second thing you need to know is being able to shield the puck from your defender. You need a counter for the ever popular poke check that's been the go to move in NHL since well forever. Manual says hit A to protect the puck, well scratch that. You actually want to utilize the right stick on your controller instead. Wherever you hold the right stick is where the puck goes and it allows you to have your backside in effect become a shield and makes it harder for the defender to poke check you without fouling. And oftentimes they bounce right off of you. So it allows you to make sharp turns around defenders while still being able to maintain the puck or build a wall against them as you're charging towards the goalie. And the number one tip is mastering the poke check. I've gotten a bunch of messages over the years whose basic theme is dirty, all you do is poke check. Well it works and is your best weapon on defense, but EA has made it more risk reward over the years which I do like. Being able to master the poke check is tied to being able to attack whoever has the puck's forehand side. Because any damage your opponent can do to you will come from their forehand unless they get a left right backhand in front of the goal. So the puck eventually will be exposed to the forehand before they shoot otherwise and taking away his forehand really limits what your opponent can do. Coming inside, the defender exposes the puck even more and the chance of losing it goes up because it's easier to hit. So you're basically pushing everything to the sidelines if he wants to maintain puck control. One of my favorite things to do is after I shoot and my opponent gets the puck, I don't switch players but instead I come from behind on whoever has the puck and attack whichever side their forehand is. It accomplishes two things. It forces your opponent to rush things because they see somebody coming from behind. And it also forces them to play more compacted because if they do bring the puck out, I can come from behind and steal it. Can't begin to tell you how many shots I've stolen just by using this tactic. Alright guys, let me know if any of these tips have helped you out. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer, providing tips and gameplay for Madden, NBA 2K, FIFA, MLB The Show, and NHL. They post videos each week aimed at getting you to play like a pro.